Hey, what's up my fellow nerds? And welcome back to another Monk video. My name is David, not Monk, or Adnoth006 as I'm better known on the interwebs, and I thank you for joining us for the video today. Today is going to be the start of a semi-recurring series where I will be hosting episodes going through some Magic the Gathering box openings. Today, our very first one is a very special box opening one I've been looking forward to for a very long time, and that is Time Spiral Remastered. And as you can see, we were able to secure an entire box here from my local game store. Uh, we even got our nifty old border foil uh, Lotus Bloom box topper as well. So couldn't leave that out. It's a gorgeous card. And I'm glad to have it. So uh, before we get into the box opening, I want to remind you that Monk streams every Tuesday and Thursday. And if you want to catch some awesome video game play, video game gameplay rather, or uh, see maybe some Pokemon openings throughout the stream and every now and again you might catch me. Be sure to show up Tuesdays and Thursdays uh, at around 8 o'clock. Without any further ado, let's get into the box opening. All right, we're gonna try to do this somewhat quickly because we got a whole 36 packs to get through. 36 packs and they're time spiral remastered which means they are awesome and i am looking forward to seeing what sweet sweet old border cards we can get from this hopefully i can even maybe pull like i don't know something awesome like a tarmogoyf because you know those of you who know me and know what i like in magic modern junt it's in my heart so, uh, being able to pull one out of here would be sweet, but hey, anything I get, I'm going to be excited about. We're going to put our little Lotus Bloom back over here. We're going to scoot our box off to the corner, and then we're going to jump right in. As I said, thank you again for watching. I know I am so stoked about this. So let's see, we're going to look, I love that slivers are back in these. We're not going to spend a lot of time, although that's an empty of the Warrens. Great storm card in modern, uh, going through the commons and uncommons because there's not much value in them. We'll put the commons right there. Got a hench fiend of Ukor, an uncommon spower orner thalid, and cloud seeker. Cloud seeker is a pretty good uncommon right there. And then... Ooh, Hive Stone. I was just talking about slivers, and right here we got an artifact that turns all creatures into slivers. That's pretty awesome. Let's see what's our... Ooh, Stonehorn Dignitary is our old border card. When Stonehorn Dignitary enters the battlefield, target opponent skips their next combat phase. You know, your opponent wants to be doing some combat damage to you. This could help out. So I'm going to put my old border here. Rares Mythics right there. Throw the trash off to the side. And we got our little ape token right there. Let's make sure all that can be seen. Yes, it can. All right. On to pack two. If you've kept up with the Time Spiral Remastered uh, release information at all, you know that these old border uh, cards, this is the first time they've been reprinted with the old border. Uh, Gem Hide Sliver, one of my favorites. Uh, and because of that, there aren't foils of the old border of these modern version uh modern cards rather uh so the foil versions are basically masterpieces they are very very uncommon Ooh, angel's grace that's a good card S can save your bacon and we got an evolutionary leap i understand it this is a pretty good commander card uh but hey i don't know everything and look foil fury sliver all sliver creatures have double strike. That's dope. I'm going to put it down there, put our token over here, put our Angel's Grace on our rare pile. But as I was saying, the old border foils, if you are so lucky to get one, are going to be very, very hard to find. So if you've got a really desirable old border card from a box of this that also is in foil, it's probably going to be worth a lot of money. And, you know, we like it. So let's hope we can get one. Ooh, that's cool. Volrent Sliver. Let's give all of our Sliver Poisonous. That's great. Uh, blanking. Kind of a weird 
uh, mechanic Meyer Boa, big game hunter, that is a limited all star, Shivan Meteor, and then our rare is Draloon Lich Lord. Damage would be dealt to Draloon Lich Lord, sacrifice that many permanents instead. Hm. Awesome. Then, oh, Atali the Primal Storm and Old Border. This right here is a commander all star. Love that. And we'll put our assembly worker over. I'm going to try to talk less and rip open a little bit more now that I've gotten through the basics here. If you do end up liking this comment, though, I would appreciate you giving the video a like and a comment so that it can do better in the YouTube algorithm. You'll help Monk out a lot there, as well as if you would like to see more uh, videos that are about Magic the Gathering, please let us know in the comments and we'll see what we can do. Cloud Key is our rare. We got a Tallgrim Sky Summoner, another great commander card, as our full border, and then a Foil Assassinate. Kind of, meh, whatever, but, you know, we take what we can get. We're going to keep on ripping through these. Mm -hmm. Hope everybody... Oh, Rift Bolt. I love that in mono red. The uh, burn the budget version for modern. Mm. Won me a lot of games with that deck. And Sarah Avenger. This is an awesome angel card. Can't... Very, very strong for its mana cost. But, you know, you can't play it till it, uh, the fourth turn of the game. Which is, you know... Makes it less desirable. Mirror Entity. It's a changeling. Cool old border. We'll keep on rolling. 36. This is going to be a fairly long video. So, you know, you're not going to hurt my feelings if you skip through just to the rares. Oh, Sinew Sliver. The time shift version of... Might Sliver is the one that gets plus two, plus two. I don't remember what the green version is. That's the same as Sinew, but it was the, uh, or not time shifted, color shifted rather version of that. Harmonize, Cultist Sliver, Core, Dirge, and Swarmland. Regenerate target insect, rat, spider, or squirrel. Ooh, spider. <laughs> Monk would like that. Spiders. So uh, regenerating that would be great. And then Sigil of the Empty Throne. Another great commander card makes angels super cool. Every enchantment spell gives you an angel. I love the smell ah, of some fresh cardboard. Simeon Spirit Guide, that just got banned in Modern. Makes me sad because, you know, Modern is where my heart is. And, you know, I don't really agree with that card getting banned. But, you know, they didn't ask me. Gemstone Caverns, that is a good pull. I don't know what just a regular version of this is worth off the top of my head, but I know this was a fairly expensive card before the reprinting, and it's also our first Mythic. We're going to scoop these down, put the Mythic separate from the rares, uh, put our good commons over there, and then just a regular Foily Boys right there. And then we got an Ethereal Armor, which is great for Popper. Uh, not Popper. Modern Boggles. Actually, I think it's good for Popper Boggles, too, because I think it is a common in its regular printing, and a Soldier Token. I'm super stoked about that Gemstone Cavern. Oh, <laughs> speaking of Simeon Spirit Guide, we got another one. Ooh, Momentary Blank. Nice, nice. Watcher Sliver. I forgot about that one. Mass of Ghouls. Okay, we got our... Man, there's like a lot left. Okay. Lightning Axe. That's a great one. Keen Sense. Cool, cool, cool. The Suvian Shapeshifter and it's our old border card. Ooh, Beast Whisperer. That's pretty cool. Uh, you recently rotated out of standard, but still, it's really good for creature commander decks. And then we got a Foil Errant Doomsayers. Pretty cool. Oh, <laughs> Spidery Boy. Oh, Monk, look out. He's coming to get you. Just kidding. We would never let the spider get monk. We like him too much. All right. Cole Stoker, Dreamstalker. I'm not going to read all these comments. That would take forever. Who all slivers have reached. That's a good one. Uh, Seal of Primordium. Eh, that's okay. Although, actually, it would be pretty good with Loris because you could bring it back over and over again to destroy target artifacts and enchantments. I don't know when you use Loris and you need a recurrable version of that, but maybe in Commander. Fury Sliver, Harmonic Sliver, that's a great one. Uh, Faceless Devour, and Walk the Aeons. 
Target player takes an extra turn after this one. That's always fun. And you can buy it back from your graveyard uh, and by sacrificing three islands. Cool. Oh, not but from your graveyard. As you play it, you can buy it back. That's how buyback works. There's too many of those. Reclamation Sage. That is a great card, both in Commander and Modern, so I love getting that in the old border. So far, our old border cards have been dope. I haven't gotten any super explosively expensive things yet, but, you know, we keep the dream alive. Speaking of dreams, Dreamstalker. We got so many super cool slivers throughout here. I might have to make myself a sliver deck. When I was playing in college, I doubled Crow, so that's a good one. If High Arcanist is our rare. Ooh. Yeah, this suspending it. Quite a mana discount. You go from seven to two, so that's pretty cool. And Reckless Rats. This is one of those cards that you can have any number of them in your deck, which is great for uh, rats and kind of the way they usually work. And our cool Kobold. Look at that art. I'll stab you. Uh, as I was saying, when I played Magic in college, uh, one of the buddies I played with a lot played Slivers very regularly. He loved them. And, uh, ooh, Mana Tithe. I'm putting that out here because that's a good copy. I love Mana Tithe. So is Chromatic Star, honestly. I, I wonder if I've missed any Chromatic Stars throughout there. I wasn't looking for that. I forgot it was in this set. But anyway, uh, I would love to build a Sliver deck kind of to honor my buddy from college. Uh, five mana, two, three, Magus of the Future. Oh, okay, so this is Future Sight, but the creature version. Very cool. Aisha Who Smiles at Death. This is a very good Mardu commander. Nice to find that, and that's a pretty cool night card, too. Alright, hopefully, I haven't really been paying attention to whether or not you can see these cards or not, so <laughs> let's hope you can. Mog War Marshal, Dark Withering, Thrill, blah 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 blah. Ooh. Oh, I thought that was a two minutes so never mind. Okay, we'll do the uncommon. Stormcloud, Return to Dust, good commander card. Imperiosaur. This used to I think just be a beast, if I remember correctly, before Ixalan block when they finally introduced the dinosaur uh sub subtype, and then or creature type rather, and now it is a dinosaur, which makes more sense. Thelion of Havenwood is our rare. Each fungus creature you get gets plus one, plus one for each spore counter on it. That's awesome. Very cool. Oh, and that's black green. I didn't remember. This was a Golgari commander. Nice. Leveler. When Leveler enters the battlefield, exile all cards from your library. That is a fun way to win with Thassa's Oracle in Modern or Commander, actually. Uh, well, no, it's banned in Commander. Used to not be, though. Yavamaya Druid is our foil. Our first foil uncommon, I believe. Forest Walk. When it enters the battlefield, you may search a library for a forest card, put it onto the battlefield, tapped under your uh, or under target player's control and shuffle your library. Very cool. And a little Friday token. Yeah, if they've been focusing. I hope they've been focusing. Let's look, let's look at that leveler again just to. Yep, okay, cool. And that is the first third of our box. We have opened 12 packs already. We are rolling right along for C. Always like drawing cards, especially when you get to scry for first. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're to the uncommon. Sudden death, fungal reaches, wipe away. This is it. This is non-foil, non-old border, the most expensive card out reprinted out of this set if I'm remembering the prices correctly. I think it's been floating somewhere around 40 to 30, depending on the moment you look uh, online. But before this was printed, I think it was like $100 card before this set was released uh, yesterday on Friday. So very, very glad to get that. This also means if I didn't want to sell it, I could build a Sliver Commander deck because, you know, it'd be a great Sliver commander and right behind that we get another all-star panharmonicon that's fantastic trigger abilities doubling love that another cool stabby kobold flippers are just fun because they give everyone out of here because uh, they give everyone the abilities that 
all the other slivers have, which is super, super cool. Nice, nice synergy, and I do like synergy in decks. Although I've never had a sliver deck myself. Well, in common so far, I haven't really found anything. Care Keep, this one makes kobolds, that's pretty cool. And Time of Need, this is fantastic in Commander. Always getting that land ramp, and then we got another cool Black Knight that has protection from white. Okay, keep rolling. So far, I'm stoked about this. Gemstone Caverns and Sliver Legion are good mythics to get out of this. So far, I haven't gotten a horrible mythic. Ooh, Logic Knot, that's a good common right there. Again, forgot about that entirely. Wasn't looking for it. We'll have to go back through after the video to find these. Uh, another Yavamaya Druid. Conflagrate. Dredge All-Star. I hate it. Magus of the Moon. Fantastic. I need a play set of this. I like the new art on it, too. Like, super cool. Him with his little staff over here and his hand summoning stuff. But anyway, uh, love Blood Moon in Modern. I know uh, that most people want you to die for that saying that out loud but love blood moon magus of the moon is a redundant version and then we've got a solemn simulacrum i can't ever say that word anyway you know what he does he's another commander all-star now ooh, our first foil rare hive stone i feel like this box is telling me i need to build a sliver deck because i keep getting cool sliver stuff foil version of the one earlier look at look at the rainbow very cool Put that down there. And then Metallic Sliver, a little artifact token on one sliver. That again, is lame by himself, but when he's all together, when he's part of the hive... Come on. Man, a lot of trouble getting that one open. Uh, anyway, when he's part of the hive, he gets all the abilities of all the other slivers. So there's another Logic Knot, Mog War Marshal, that's pretty cool. Sidewinder Sliver giving us that flanking, and we're back to another Lightning Axe. Keen Sense, Brine Elemental, Sudden Spoiling, I don't even know what this does. Split Second, so you can't react to it. it finishes everything on the stack. And then until the end of turn, creature... Yeah, until the end of turn, creature's target player controls, loses all abilities, and have base power and toughness 0 too. <laughs> Pretty cool. Blighted Woodland great cheap fetch land for modern and then we got a foil of this empty the warrens and we got his little foily friend another good storm card still gonna just put him with the regular foils down there all right let's see what we have next Hermorphic expanse love it love it love it love it smallpox I've thought about trying to do a smallpox deck in modern for a while too, just because it's fun to give everybody a disease. Just kidding, that's wrong. Uh, Heartwood Storyteller. Whenever a player casts a non creature spell, each of that player's opponents may draw a card. Ooh, very cool. Oh, yes! Young Pyromancer. I love this card. Fantastic card. And then, Assembly Worker. Cool little artifacty dude. Hope everyone's weekend is going swimmingly. The Tolarian Sentinel. Just like the word Tolarian. The poisonous slivers. Yep, yep. Let's give all our slivers poisonous because that's what we need. Kind of like the smallpox comment I made a second ago. Prodigal Pyromancer, Nightshade, Assassin, Silversmith, and boom! One of the other really worth their mythic slot value wise cards in this set. Damn nation the color shifted version of a wrath of god fantastic it's a neat reprint we needed pretty badly i think it's sitting around 25 dollars. and then we've got a harvester of souls i've run this in i think two different commander decks i've got uh it's fantastic when you're sacrificing creatures it's it's great but i love the old border the old border on these just looks so good why don't they just spider get it monk uh why don't they just bring back the old border like forever? I would love that. Especially in blue cards, which I don't... Actually, have I gotten a blue... An old border card that's blue yet? I don't think I have. Oh yeah, I did. Tall Rand. Yeah, look look at that. Like, it looks great. The border on that. I love the cool little swirlies throughout it. Just bring back the old border. 
And definitely get rid of this stupid curvy black part on the bottom of cards. Everybody hates that. I don't understand why we have it. Order of Cloethus, Momentary Blink, okay, Urza's Factory, Clockwork Hydra, Stone Cloaker, and we got a Tomb Stalker. I would have loved for this to be a good card in my modern deck, but it's not. Draven Inspector, fantastic mono white card. Uh, Joda's Avenger, Cool Foil Uncommon, and then we've got... Ooh, that's a different... Oh, no, the other one was a Kobold, but this Goblin's like... We're going to get you. Watch out. I gotta speed this video up. I need to rip these things open a little faster. Grape Shot, love that for Storm in Modern. Oh, Chromatic Star. Need to just go through these. And ooh, Angel of Salvation, Flash and Convoke. Uh, when Angel of Salvation enters the battlefield, prevent my next five damage. Very cool. Prime time in the old border. Heck yeah, that's fantastic. We love to see it, Soldier Token, as our last card from that set. Okay, so far, this box, in my opinion, has been straight money. I am very, very glad. That's great with prime time in modern. Uh, very happy with what I've been pulling. No Tarmogoyf yet, no, like, foil old border thought seeds or something crazy like that, but still, fantastic cards. Used to run this in modern. Uh, Baral, Chief of Compliance, another Storm card, but this now in the old border, and it's blue, my favorite of the old borders, fantastic. And we got a Griffin token, let's keep rolling right along. As I said earlier, if you're liking this content, please like the video, subscribe to see more. Monk tries to put up a video of opening Pokemon at least once a week normally. Right now I know he's working on his new house, which has been taking his time. Periphery nodes, pretty cool. Rakdos Charm, love that for modern. And a Cloud Sprite. I know he's been working on his house the last couple of weeks, which is why he hasn't put out a video, which is where the idea for me doing this came from. So still subscribe if you would like to see more from him and or if you'd like to see more from me. You know, maybe if you tell him, hey, that Adnoth guy was super cool. We want him back. Maybe he'll let me come back. Pack the Titan. Very cool. Slimefoot Stowaway. That's a cool Sapper Lane commander. Oh, there's something foily back here. I think it's green. Ooh, a Search for Tomorrow foil. Very, very nice. Yeah, and that's a great card for modern prime time. Open up. There we go. All right. Homing Sliver, Primal Plaza, I'm empty the Warns again. I'm just going to go through these commons. Stop talking about them, David. Oh, yeah. Love that. Crossing and Grip, Salt Blast. Cool. Life and Limb. I don't even know what that does, but we're going to keep on rolling. Exquisite Firecraft, very cool old border. And Land of War Elves, the token version, not the card version. Okay, we are two-thirds of the way through. Again, if... You don't care to hear my random ramblings and would like to just see the rares. You're not going to hurt my feelings at all if you skip straight to the rares in the video. Do what makes you happy. Darkheart Sliver, Enslave, Given Sand Mage, Restore Balance. Very cool card. That is a mythic, but that's the first mythic we've gotten that's not worth, like, anything. But it's fine. It's a cool card. Look at this. Kiki Cheeky Mirror Breaker in the old border. Fantastic. Love it, love it, love it. And oh my goodness, a foil, a chroma, angel of fury. Can you see the rainbow on that bad boy? That girl? This was the color shifted version of a chroma, the angel that had just all kinds of abilities for no good reason. Uh, it used to be white. They color shifted it in the original Time Spiral block to red. And this is the reprint foil version of that. That's our first foil mythic. Very cool. Sapperlene token. I have no idea what that card's worth, but I don't care. It's awesome. It's what I like to see. Faceless Devourer, First Uncommon, Return to Dusk, Fury Sliver, and uh, Don't Fall Over. Banalish Commander is our rare. Elvish Mystic. Land of War Elves had been printed in the old version, because that's like 
Actually, I don't think that's from Alpha, but it's from really early in the game, but Mystic Elves have not. Love that. And then we got our little stabby kobold again. Let's see, what do we have next? Basalt, Gargoyle, Shaper Parasite, Outrider, Encore, I see a foil back there somewhere. Rada Air to Keld. This is a commander I've thought about building in the past. Ancient Stirrings, Tron, All-Star, and Armu Seekers is our foil. Very cool that we got an old border Ancient Stirrings. I like to see that. Okay, let's keep right on rolling. We probably have like 10 packs left, something like that. So just to keep you updated so you know how much further we have to go stone cloud Dijin, rift market knight arc blade and ancestral vision again not worth a lot of money because after it was unbanned in modern people realized there was reason it was unbanned it's not that great in modern but you know that's a good mythic i think they probably should have put this at rare in this set but you know whatever and we got our mole drifter with our old border card very neat ape token hey, that one ripped open right right nice oh mm, fibble flip the lost actually you could get him wait is this fibble flip is this somebody else i don't remember anyway we're gonna keep on rolling you speaking of fibble flip though you can get him in the old border in the set pongify great card cautery sliver Gaia's Anthem and Greater Gargadon. Cool suspend creature that almost never sees a ton of play. Oh, I put my uncommons. Hold on. In the wrong spot. Nah, those aren't rares. Okay, Greater Gargadon there. Boop. And then Reman. Fantastic modern card for the controlly mage. And the art just looks better in the old border, especially for these blue cards. Wizards only print in the old border. Probably not the last time I'll say that. And we keep on rolling. Let's see how many packs we have left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, let's put the box over there. Let's go ahead and we're gonna do a an early cleanup phase. Put all our commons in there. Set our uncommons a little nicer. And then we go, we got seven packs to go. Let's rip this bad boy open, see what we get. Simeon Spirit Guide, very cool. It's a new sliver, also cool. Man, I'm gonna have to build slivers. I just know it. Cloud Seeker, that's a cool one. And Aeon Chronicler is our rare. I don't really know what that does. Anger of the Gods. I use this in almost all of my red uh, modern decks or decks that have red in them that are modern decks and my sideboard. Uh, so getting an old border is awesome metallic sliver on his token let's get this thing open ba -ba -ba -ba. bye common so long street wraith fantastic i don't know why it's an uncommon this time around uh yeah those two are nothing pact of negation fantastic fan fan fantastic might make me a titan player just kidding i'm not evil like that ever flowing chalice used to be a great Card for commander. No, it's okay. Let's see, we got four, five, including this one. Five packs left. What are we gonna pull? Are we gonna pull something super explosive? This was great a couple summers ago, back when Modern Horizons was released in Modern. Flagstones of Trarkir, good land, and is our rare Liliana's Triumph, and we have a foil time shifted card. This is one that's not like one of the explosive ones, but like I said, any of these foils, the foil versions of these time shifted cards, there's not many of them. They are going to be valuable, if not today, eventually. So that is fantastic. Zealous Conscripts. Let's get that up there a little better. So nice. Yeah, we'll put it down there. And our Sapperling token. Four to go. 
Where is our uncommons? There we go. None of those are big. Urborg. That's a great rare. It's probably one of the more valuable rares in the set. Lavinia. I wish this saw more play in modern, but it doesn't. Very cool. And it's coming to get you. Run away, monk. Run! Ah! Yeah, here. Friday Night Magic. Pandemic, go away. I would like to play all the time. I love modern. I love playing modern, but there's not many things going on right now. Let's see what the rare is. Uh, what is this? Draining Welk. Flash flying. That's six mana. That's why I don't know what it is. And Arch of Araska. Ooh, very, uh, very uh, cool. This is a great card. I couldn't remember if that was a flip land from Ixalan or not. It is not. It's just a very cool utility rand land. Utility rand? Mm -hmm. Me do words good. This is our second to last pack. Aven Mind Sensor. Boom. Redship Reef. Penhavel. Pen. Blah, blah, blah. Penhaven Elder. And Jaya Ballard Task Mage. Oh, we got a foil. Ooh, abrupt decay! Boom. Again, Jund Mage inside me loves to see that on the golden border. And we got a foil Gossamer Phantasm, whatever that is. And another token Atlanta War Elves. Last pack. Last pack. Let's give it some give it some magic. Show it all the mythics. Look, look at all the cool mythics that we've gotten. Oh, look at the foil Zealot's Conscripts and the Akroma Angel of Fury and the Hive Stone. You will be a Tarmogoyf and Royal Thought Seas in the old border. Okay. Let's see, let's see if I'm magic. Last pack, last pack, last pack magic. Where is the uncommon? There we go. Spellburst. Paradise Plume. Knight of Holy Nimbus. Oh, I saw green and I got excited. Okay, it is a Summoner's Pact. Still a very good card, especially for Titan and Modern. Okay, come on, old border thoughts ease. Oh, Feather to Redeem. That's pretty cool. I've thought about making a Commander deck out of this too, just because you get to play a bunch of random, cheap, and trippy instants and sorceries that buff stuff up that are super cheap. Fun, unique way to, way to play in Commander. And then we got a goblin. Creepy goblin friend. All right. Thank you very much for stopping in. We got a lot of super cool pulls. I'm probably most excited about this Zealous Conscripts foil, just because it is a foil time-shifted card. Probably won't be like hundreds of dollars, but it'll be significant, I hope. A Chroma Angel of Fury in foil, very cool. Mythic Hivestone, our foil rare. Our Mythics, Ancestral Vision, Restore Balance, neither of those are worth much. Damnation, like 25. Sliver Legion, probably will in a couple of months go back up to 50 or 60. Gemstone Caverns, probably about the same as Damnation, 25, something like that in the long haul. I'm super excited about those. And then we got tons of really cool rares that I am excited to have, whether they're awesome or just really playable. And then the resistance of Time Spiral Remastered. Okay, Jun Jun Jun. Look at all of those beau blue, all of those beautiful old border cards. Prime time, that's going to be one that's valuable, if not now, later. In time of need. Man. Just enjoy all of the old border goodness. Thank you again for stopping in. If you liked the video, please like the video, comment, subscribe, and show up next time. Final reminder, Monk streams on Tuesdays and Thursdays around 8 o'clock, so stop in at twitch.tv slash mvnk. 
to see him, get to hang out, watch him play some super cool games, and maybe even open some Pokemon booster packs. If you liked this content specifically and you would like to see more, please comment below saying, bring Adnoth back, and we'll see what we can do. Thank you very much. Hope you have a fantastic weekend. Bye-bye.